Well, hello there, you sweet, holly jolly toe beans. It's your boy, them curvy toes, and we are back again today playing Soulstone Survivors. We are going to be playing as the Hound Master today because Pupper Doggos of Murder always sounds like an excellent, excellent idea to me. We're going to be using the rune Sure Footed and Weapon Expert to take a little less damage. And to start with an extra skill, real quick shout out to you, the Toe Beans. Thank you so much for all the love the channel has been receiving as of late. It really does mean the world to me. Make sure you like today's video. Subscribe to the channel as well to become a member of the sweet, sensual Toe Bean army if you haven't done so already. So with that out of the way, Beans, let's get into the gameplay. Now, full disclosure, I have not used this uh, particular character at all yet. So we are going to actually be playing on uh, just rank one with the uh, these four curses here. And we're going to be running around with some puppies and putting in work. And I would really love to be able to go into endless mode. I haven't had uh, the easiest time of that lately for whatever reason. But I am uh, very much enjoying this shotgun that we got right now, or mortars or gren grenadier type ability. Beans, it's almost the holidays, and I hope that uh, y'all are enjoying whatever holiday activities you have planned and are partaking in. I know for me, I miraculously actually got uh, all my Christmas shopping done before Christmas this year. Uh, you know, Jeff Bezos and his crew helping me out with that one quite a bit, but it's definitely nice to have that, uh, that load off my mind. Because every year, every year I wait way too long and then I get all stressed out and then shit doesn't show up on times and it's just a bad time all around. Uh, chaotic deathclaw at the feet of a random enemy. Or explosive trap or suction bomb. I like that big suck, beans. And once we... I, I like the idea of this guy having, having puppies and explosions. That, uh, where did our puppy... Oh, there's one. What a good boy. Do I only hit... No, I have... I see two puppies. How many puppies do I have? It looks like three. I see three puppies. Ooh. 30% additional area on all bomb effects. And all three of ours are bomb effects so far. So we are... We're going to be covering the screen with explosions. Means let's get some crafting mats here. Nice thing is, is those are automatically attracted. Let's show this elite just how much business we mean aka the most business hmm hmm beans what do we take here we're gonna take the maximum health because this character does have a little bit less health empower you and all your nearby allies increasing the movement speed modifier and the cast frequency modifier how is this not bomb? We're gonna re-roll. We're gonna re-roll. We're gonna re-roll, beans. Explosive shot. Was it not? You know what? Still very much on brand. I do like some easily, at least one easily aimed ability to start putting, uh, putting damage in on bosses in particular. Area of effect of bombardment? Absolutely. When in doubt, make it bigger, make it do more damage. What else can we really ask at the end of the day, Sweet Beans? Hey, let me know in the comments if, uh, if you guys got anything you're really, really hoping that Santa will bring you for Christmas. I know for me, I, uh... I asked Santa for an external hard drive so I can start recording on my laptop when I have spare moments and I'm away from the computer. And uh, really looking forward to that. Uh, blast of fire in a cone in front of you. Alright, that sounds pretty cool. I still, that, that feels on brand. That feels on brand to me, Beans. Let's see what it does. I don't see the fire launching. Oh, maybe that was it. I don't know, whatever we're doing is, is is working so far. Mortar shot, additional area, yep. Do want to start scaling the damage sooner rather than later because all this additional area is great. But if we don't have additional damage to go with it, it becomes a moot point. 
There we go. Ask you shall receive additional damage on mortar shot. At this point, I don't really know what the puppies are doing, but I feel like they're doing their best. We are going to take frag shot as well. It does match up with all abilities, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we got our first boss, Tiagaro, the Eternal Guardian. And we're stuck on a tree. Nimbly dodging his wall hack beam ability. And let's see what we got here. Uh, we are going to take additional AoE on explosive shot. And we are going to take... Ooh, the multicast. No, we're going to take the blue magnetic. I want to get... Uh, I want to start getting levels... Getting levels out of the way, Beans. Shrapnel bomb. That's much more on brand than Napalm Blast. Sorry, Napalm Blast. But I like bombs and grenades and, you know, Napalm is is great. Napalm is kind of bomby, but we want even bombier bombies. Uh, these are all physical, so that is going to be an additional 50% area. Oh, Beans, we're covering the screens with explosions today. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. What we got here? More AOE. More... Yeah, we're gonna go with more AOE. I love AOE. AOE loves me. And, uh... Build Ballista. Mm. The only one I'm not super stoked about... Eh, you know what? I'm honestly... I'm okay with what where we're at. Uh, an additional 15% AOE on everything globally, if you will, and uh, critical damage chance by an additional 5%. What are we at? We're at 20% baseline, so one in five hits will be a critical with that singular upgrade. Your critical strikes have a 100% chance of applying wound to the target. Now, we don't have too many debuffs as of yet, but that is certainly something we'll be able to, uh, to start stacking up here. Shrapnel shot. I like that a lot more than, which one was it? Was it Frag Shot? I think it was Frag Shot. Yeah. That's just like a cluster grenade that we can aim. And uh, very much about that. Your critical strikes or damage of shrapnel bomb. Yep, we're gonna take damage of shrapnel bomb. And holy shit, Beans, we got grenades. We're just, our puppies must be uh, all right, that'll take us up to 30%. Replace choices with passives. I didn't even look at what they were, so I probably should have done that. Uh, but our puppies must be, like, grenade-resistant, flame-retardant. I'm not really sure, but, uh... You know, I don't know about you guys, but my puppies, I would not, uh, would not want to throw grenades near them. But what do I know? I am not a hound master. More damage. Yep, we're, we're gonna be... We're gonna be stacking damage. On damage, on damage. We're gonna be getting levels. We're gonna be killing, killing enemies. I don't want any of those. All right, hear me out. I know it's green, but I do. I do want the extra move speed. We are, as you can see there, still severely lacking in the mobility department, and the ability to apply the slow debuff is gonna be excellent as well. Didn't I just take that? Well, if I took it, it was good, so now I think all of our attacks have an 80% chance of applying slow with all of our AoE. That's going to be uh, very, very good. More AoE! Let's go! More AoE, more slowing, more trash mobs falling at our feet. And I'm feeling good about today, Beans. I feel like today we're, we're getting into the endless mode. Already this build is really, really coming together like a freshly minted Lego set on Christmas morning. 10% global damage. Can't imagine that ever being a bad idea. And we are good on abilities at this point. Uh, more AoE on... Hey, you know what? It, it's at least on two of our abilities. So why not? Why not, Beans, is the question that I have for you, and the answer is, there is no reason. 
Uh, your critical strikes have a 50% chance of applying bleed to the target. Yes, please. More debuffs is more DOT. More DOT is more kills. And, ooh-wee, more cast frequency. Yes, please. And we got, we got this guy with his saw blades and his devil wings and, uh... Either way, he's gonna be having a not good time. You can see we're putting in work on him right now. Heck yeah, brother. We are gonna take the additional crit chance, which brings us up to, yep, 35%. And more AoE. Wow, we are really leaning into the just carpet bombing the entire map at this point, which I love. More cast frequency, absolutely. I don't really, I haven't seen too much in the way of multicast at this point, but that's okay. Ooh. No, no. I can't get rid of that. Multicast, hey, <laughs> there you go. Frontal, that is all but one, so perfect. So, let me, uh, I'd love to see, hear what you guys are thinking of the uh, new kind of upload schedule that I'm sticking to here. I've as I'm sure some of you have seen. I'm doing like a uh, Fallout 4 uh, vanilla survival permadeath run here. And I'm really, really striving to kind of do every other day with that. So one day upload just a, uh, you know, whatever random roguelike I feel like playing. Like right now it happened to be Soulstone Survivors. Um, and then the next day doing uh, Fallout 4 episode, then roguelike, then Fallout 4, so on, so forth. AOE on those two or armor power. Eh, it's purple, we'll take it. So yeah, if, there's, uh, if that's something you guys are enjoying, please let me know. If it's something you guys aren't enjoying, you know, please let me know. I'm always down to, uh, to cater to you guys, the beans, the sweet, sweet toe beans, because at the end of the day, you are the reason that I do this, and you are the ones that that keep my mental state afloat enough to, uh, to come home and, and start creating content for y'all. Bomb Barrage. Okay. No. We're good. We're good on abilities. We're good on abilities, Beans. And we are going to... Did we take poison already? I don't think so. We're doing poison. We're doing lots of poison. We're doing lots of... DOT and AOE and EBT and MTV and Snooky and all that good stuff. All those acronyms. Oh, our poor puppies are dying. Probably from the fact that we are constantly throwing grenades at them. Mm, damage increase of shrapnel. Hey, you know what? Mo damage. Our AOE is just fucking out of control at this point already. Uh, more damage is gonna is gonna be good. Beans next level up. I think it's gonna be time to hydrate. Feeling a little a little bit parched. And this guy, Alexi the Plague Bearer, aka Discount Nurgle, aka you are dead as a doornail. And there we go. All right, poisonous blood. Every time you attack, apply a stack of bleed. There is a chance, hmm. or more AOE. It's purple. I'm gonna take it. I feel like poisonous blood is gonna come up again, anyways. You know what? More, uh, more crit chance. It'll bring us up to 40%, which I, I love. We are almost at half critical. Half our hits are critical at this point. So, Beans, I actually just went to McDonald's today. And, uh, I'm just still actually drinking the Diet Coke from McDonald's. But, uh, had like a really, really just weird, weird trip at McDonald's. You know, I was there at like 3.30 in the afternoon. And, uh, it was slammed, like, like, lunch rush slammed, like, line wrapping around the building. I was like, ah, you know, whatever. I, I, I just had a hankering for some Mickey D's fries, so I was like, you know, I'll stick it out. But it's just very peculiar. Normally, I, I set up my eating schedule, um, with, you know, work, and I, I, I get weird times to, to eat at work, so, you know, still, even on vacation, adhering to that. So it's very, very peculiar to see that much... That much happened at McDonald's, but then, like the lady, 
was like, she kept like, talk, she was like talking normal, like a good chunk of time, but she keeps slipping into this weird southern accent. And it was like very, very bamboozling. And, uh, so, yeah, we'll take whatever. Uh, more AoE or burn chance, burn chance, and damage increase. Yes, please. And, like, I don't know, it was just very, very peculiar. She would be like, all right, that's going to be a mega double, and I believe you said you wanted a Diet Coke as well, sugar. I'm like, what the fuck? Is like, I don't know if that was, like, some weird dissociative identity disorder thing. And then, like, you know, I got up to the window. Oh, that's the boss. I got up to the window, and she was doing the same thing. Like, you know, making making eye contact. It's hard. It's harder to troll people when you're making eye contact with them, I found. But, like, straight face. Like, I don't know what the fuck was going on. And then, uh... And then the, the person at the second window... You know, I always try really, really hard to be nice to, uh... You know, service people, especially in the food industry. I worked in the food industry for a while. And, like, man, you are an emotional punching bag. Especially in fast food. Um... But, uh, and I was like, the, the young lady worked there, I was like, hey, you know, how's, uh, hey, how's it going? How's your day going? And she just, like, stopped what she was doing and stared at me, just mean mugged me. And I was, like, very, like, uncomfortable, very, just, like, the amount of staring was disproportionate to even if I had said something shitty, which I didn't. I was trying to be nice. And, uh... You know, then just, I don't know, it was very, very strange trip to McDonald's beans. And I can feel it. I got a tummy full of fries and McDoubles right now. And, ooh, I'm going to regret it. I'm going to regret it, but it was delicious. I love the fries. The dogs, they love the McDonald's fries. Everyone wins except for, uh, except for my sweet poor Tum Tum. We're going to take 40% additional damage on those. And... Uh, you know what? We're just going to take the additional cast frequency. I can barely see what's going on already. I hear our puppies howling. Hopefully they're howling with murder and not with being murdered because that would make me so, so very sad. These dogs, I bet they like McDonald's french fries too. I just get that feeling about the Houndmaster's good boys. And while we are on a good pace here, we're definitely going to be hitting, hitting endless mode, which is always... Uh, Always nice. I've been, uh, I've been having bad luck with this, the runs on this game lately. Just, like, the builds not coming together, not getting the re-rolls we need, or not getting the rolls we need, even with re-rolls. Let's see what we got here. More AoE on Shrapnel Bomb? Sure. Sure, why not? Alright, where's Fire Boy? Fires versus Explosives. Who's gonna win? Oh, uh, maybe him. Just maybe him? No, not today, Beans. I got a good feeling about putting explosions in on this man. Oh, oh, there we go. Complete a match in less than 12 minutes with the Houndmaster. We got that out of the way. Let's pop this last level. Eh, more movement speed. Never bad. And we did hit both endless modes. All right, I'm actually <laughs> I'm going to go this way. I know Lord knows I'll accidentally, you know, hit the hitbox of the blue portal or something. So we're going to go into the extra boss endless mode and we do have three puppies waiting for us by the portal like the good boys that they are and so like I said I have not uh, really played around with the hound character at all thus far but really uh, really enjoying the way this build is coming together at this point let's see um, yes more frailty just carpet bombing everyone I feel like we already have poison, but whatever. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fight the more, more DOT and AOE and all that good stuff. Uh, we're good on abilities. Critical damage chance by 10% brings us up to, yup, 50%. One and two hits are going to be critical. Every other hit. I don't know why I feel the need to continually explain that. Like, it's more for my own sanity, not for you guys. I'm, I'm assuming you guys are capable of basic math, unlike me. Because my sweet toe beans are a sweet, sensual, and intellectual crowd, I'll tell you. What? And what do we got here? More XP and even more XP. Yep. Start hammering out levels even more quickly. Let's 
get oh, oh almost took resilient let's get that and so i believe with fire shield that will actually apply to our minions as well so in this case our puppies let's see if we can find our puppies i hear them oh yeah i do see a little orbiting flame balls around our puppies and that warms my cold dead heart we're gonna take it again because more flame balls on the puppies is always going to be real heckin' cute and efficient with the murdering. Should we take more? Eh, the damage increase though. It'll pop up again. It'll pop up again. I want more flame balls for our puppies. We are creating some little hellhounds here. All right, who do we got? Ice and Devil Wings. All right, we're gonna focus on Devil Wings first. And let's take these 20% uh, global multicast. Yes, please. Uh, more AOE. And yep, more damage on that ability as well. And that is going to take care of that boss. I don't know how I didn't get the uh, crystal there. Where is he? There he is. Ah, let my people go. More AO. Uh, no, more more damage. Much more damageier damage. Ooh, and the multicast, especially with that split shot ability, paying dividends already. Some puppies just want to watch the world burn, and boy howdy, ours are some of those puppies. That is the first two bosses dealt with. Uh, global cast frequency, we're gonna take, I don't think we have Doom yet. And, yep, more, uh, more XP. Move speed, and man, what's with all these white abilities? I don't like that shit. We're gonna take the uh, the additional health though, just to just to be safe. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even look at what that was. I just I saw the one green ability amidst a sea of whites, and uh, I decided that was that was the one we needed. Made an executive decision, Beans. If you think I was wrong for that, please please feel free to chastise me in the comments. Your chastisation lets me know that I am alive. Chast... 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 I don't know. Words. English is difficult, y'all. Uh, sure, more burn. More damage. And that brings us up to 65%? Yeah, holy shit. We are at two-thirds of our hits being critical. There I go explaining it again. More damage. More damage. Hell yeah! Now, I am playing on a lot lower difficulty than normal. Not a lot, but, you know, one tier lower. So I feel like that may have something to do with, with how well I'm doing here, but, you know, I just, I like to have fun. I like to have fun. I'm never going to sit here and tell you I am like a pro gamer. I'm not. I am. I'm not. For the amount of times I invest in video games, I am very, very bad at them beans. But uh, at the end of the day, it's all about having fun for me. Oh shit! We have five, uh, five levels available. Uh, multicast on those two abilities. Critical damage modifier is going to be huge. Explosive shot. Yeah, it's legendary. We're gonna take it and then more cast frequency and then more damage Perfect we should be yep just about coming up to the next set of bosses here What in the Sam hell is going on? Everything is blowing up uh, Oh, that was our suction bomb trapping us within the enemies. So that's not ideal, but what are you gonna do? And I'm gonna pop this, yep, right now because the bosses are about to spawn. 
5% global damage. Ooh, poison, doom, sure. Or oh, yeah, we're gonna take that. And 20% more global area. And there we go, we got uh, we got Lightning Lightning Lady, Lightning Medusa, and the Cave Troll from Lord of the Rings. Alright, where is Lightning Lady? I don't want to get hit by her laser beam. That's the one! That is... Oh my god, did we already killed both of them? Holy shit, Beans! This build is coming together. Uh, debuffs on debuffs, and then more damage on shrapnel shot. Debuffs on debuffs on debuffs on debuffs. That's, uh, that's, that's gonna be the hook for the new rap song I'm writing. The title of the song will be This Roguelike is Killing Me. In order to honor my experience with most roguelikes. Ooh, my goodness, Beans. Look at all that damage. Look at all that damage, all that area. We are raining hellfire and explosive shrapnel on everybody. Ah, more XP. And here this is against, we're gonna take that and damage increase. Damage is, I feel, the most important at this point. Like, AoE is great. I'm not, but uh, I like damage. I like big fat s stacks of damage. I like everything dying around us horribly and quickly. Also investing in crits some more will certainly help to up that uh, time to kill on uh, the hardier enemies. Not so much the trash mobs, which are pretty much just I have the floor wiped with them almost immediately upon getting touched, but the elites and the bosses in particular. Damage increased on blast. Okay. And then... Maybe. Or multicast on all but one. Yeah, multicast on all but one is good. Oh, we popped that health crystal, which, that's cool. Where's my cursor? There it is. This is not a, not a good build to be red, green, colorblind with, but are any of them really in this game? Oh shit, we had boss, oh my god, we had bosses spawn and they are having their way with us. I did not, was not paying attention. Don't you fear beans, fear beans. Okay, never mind. Continue not fearing. Your faith is what has carried me through. Slow. Fragility. Damage of suction bomb. Yes, more damage, please. And move speed definitely paying dividends for us here. Oh, we got stuck on something. Was that our ability or was that a boss's? I'm not really sure. What am I stuck on? Dear God. Oh, chaos. Mm. All right. We're gonna do more frailty. We are moving a little bit slower now, which may not have been the best decision, but I can't turn down 30% turn down damage and move speed isn't too difficult to fix. We're gonna save a couple of level ups here and pop those at the uh, right before the next boss spawns. I think will be the optimal way to keep the nice, uh, nice flow going that we got here. Or we die. Ah, I'm sitting ya, hopper to be, hopper to be. I gotta, I gotta go do, go through and do a uh, like a, a Disney classics run here at some point in the near future. I do that every once in a while. You know, I grew up on on Disney movies. I'm not sure. I'm not sure kind of which ones damage increase or multicast on area. We're gonna take the multicast. I can't take another. Yes, I can. All right, and then so we got 30% less movement speed. Made 20 from those two upgrades. Made 20% of that back. 
there, so we're still even better than when we just took the one. Plus an extra 60% global damage. And we're definitely still nimble enough that when we don't get stuck on stuff that we are avoiding the majority of damage. I was thinking this might be a good game to play with the controller because especially with my inability to see the cursor. Oh, it's Lightning Lady. Oh God, kill her. Oh, I hate her. I hate her. She's my least favorite. Just kidding, I wasn't scared for a moment. It's never good when I see my character standing in the midst of like 200 red enemy attack circles. But we made it through, Beans. Don't you worry. More XP. And bring us up to, I believe that'll be 70%. Eh. Sure, we'll take the, uh, the 5% addition. And I'll, I actually don't even remember what we just took. It was more one of those, yeah, fuck it, why not? And with three whites, that's, especially this late in the run, that's oftentimes gonna be it. Just like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Unless it actively debuffs us or like fucks with something. Kind of a... Kind of a mood point. I definitely do have some re-rolls that I could be using on those. Re-rolls? Re-rolls. I just had fucking weird inflection there. I don't know why I did that. Uh, let's pop these level ups here at, when we get to about 2070. RTX 2070. And these should be... Ah, uh, damn it. And now we got that in the way I wasn't paying attention, but damage increase. Multicast on Mortar Shot and damage increase on Burst. Which is going to be these three skills. And that will bring everything over at least level 10. And let's kill these baddies. Let's get some, some murders out of the way. Wow, look at all the damage we are putting down range, Beans. Uh-oh. Don't know how we didn't take damage there, but I guess I won't argue. Ah, uh, sitting ya, how about a B, how about a B? There's one of the bosses dealt with, and we're gonna, we're gonna take care of this guy real quick. Call it a day. There we go. That is the first wave of the overlord mode dealt with let's see what we got here 20 percent more area and we're gonna take the 10 percent additional move speed i want to i want to be as mobile as possible and uh, now we're going into overlord mode wave two and these trash mobs being they beans they do not stand a chance i do like that that explosive shot looks like like a cartoon firework. I don't know. Just make makes me real happy. Tickles my tickles my pickle, so to speak. Ugh, I didn't like that. Ignore that. I didn't say that. I do, in fact, be saying some weird shit sometimes, beans. The soundtrack's such a fucking bop on this game. I know I say that every time I play, but it doesn't stop being a bop. We are going to reroll. 10% more damage globally. At this point, pretty much anything that hits us is going to kill the shit out of us, but... Uh... More area. Fuck them. They got a deal on Newegg right now, just in case I do melt my CPU. Look at our hellhounds following us around, being heckin' good boys and killing all kinds of enemies. I love that about them. This is the like the one game I, I can't tell you how many like soundtracks I have in my Steam library for for games. Number of dashes you can. Yeah, absolutely. 
And like, this is the one game I would actually like love to buy the soundtrack for. And I don't, I, I, last time I checked, it wasn't there and I still didn't see it on Spotify when last I checked. So devs, what are you doing? You're, you're missing out on a source of revenue there. I feel like I am not the only one who thinks this is a hot ass soundtrack and would be willing to shell out some money to, to get it on my phone. Generate some recurring revenue from Spotify. I think that's how that works. I'm not really sure. Oh god, we took 51 damage. That's okay. We'll make it back. We'll make it back. We only got three bosses to fight. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. I'm so scared, but there is the first two. And there is the third. So we're gonna grab these crystals. We're gonna take a shit ton more damage, which is not good. block power. I'm still not really sure how that works, but we're going to take it. More dashes. More damage on missile. And more damage on suction bomb. Two, three, four. Yeah, we got four dashes now. And trash mobs are just, you can see they're melting. I mean, even the bosses at this point, beans, are getting tore up from the floor up, as they would say in the rap musics. Critical damage modifier, yes. Yes. It's an additional 48 per I'm, We're just going to take the extra XP at this point. Just because leveling is going to be our main source of healing with the uh, passives that I have unlocked. And we are definitely going to be leveling up the Houndmaster a fair bit here. Now, I believe you have to get to level 10, if I'm not mistaken, with the character to be able to get their, like, green rarity weapon. Or to be able to craft it with the blacksmith, at least. And uh, this should definitely, I feel like, push us to level 10. Critical damage modifier, more damage on that ability, and critical damage modifier. So our crits are going to be doing an extra over three and a half times damage of our normal hits at this point, which is really, really awesome. Ah, we are in the corner, which is the easiest way i found to get a lot of kills off very quickly. But it is very easy to get trapped there as well. Not so much with this build. I, this is like one of my favorite builds I've done so far. And it was just something on a whim. I was scrolling through my Steam library today. I was like, man, what do I want to uh, what do I want to record for my beans today? And I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't really know. Nothing was sounding like I wasn't like really drawn to anything. And I was like, you know what? I uh, I got a character I haven't played with at all yet on uh, Soulstone Survivors. And so I was like, yeah, let's grab that. Damage increase. And... Yeah, we're gonna take armor power. I don't really know what it does, to be honest, but it sounds like defense and it doesn't take away from our move speed like the other green ability did, so. So yeah, definitely just something I kind of started playing again on a whim today and uh, really, really happy with how it's turning out so far. Ah, it's Lightning Medusa. And my cursor is not playing nice with us right now. And we're just going to keep on dashing and exploding and everything around us will eventually die. We already took care of one of the bosses. That's going to be two. And the third is dead. Perfect. This build, being this build is putting in work. Did I get that crystal? I sure did. All right, let's see what we got for abilities here. More XP. More AoE. More AoE on bombs. Cast modifier, critical damage. I believe that will bring us up to 80%. We are getting into the realm of 100% crit chance in the near future here, if we can keep going on the pace we're going on which I love 100% crit chance. We did that on my uh, on my last bounty of one build, and I, uh, I was worried for the safety of my computer towards the end of that video.
All right, Houndmaster might be my new favorite class. And there we go. We are already at the next level of the... Or next spawn of the bosses. More move speed, more damage, and... More critical multiplier. All right, where are these bosses at? I'm just... Everything is exploding. It's going to hit them eventually is my my mentality. And they're all at about half health already. So I'm not really sure what's going on with this build other than we are destroying. Holy shit nipples. We are destroying everything. Holy shit nipples. Well, that's not something I thought I'd say today. Damage, ooh, maybe. Yeah. Yas. And damage increase on Suction Bomb. I think Suction Bomb is actually a, like a really key ability, or a really key ability in our ro rotation. Because it groups up a lot, of the, uh, a lot of the enemies and allows us to, with those more targeted attacks, get a lot of damage in a very tightly knit group of enemies. Holy shit, that's the next boss spawns already? Beans, we are... We are putting in the work right now. Oh, no! They're fucking Kamehamehas. I don't like that. Oh, oh, we're getting trapped, we're getting trapped. They're shouting into the microphone, don't mind me, and we're trapped again, all right. We're gonna have to do a little less tight rotations, I think. I don't... I can't even really see what's going on at this point, so... That's how you know it's a good run, though. And there we go. Next boss dealt with. Their next wave of bosses dealt with, excuse me. Oh, got greedy. Tried to grab that, uh, that crystal too soon. And, uh, paid a hefty price with our health for it. More move speed. More damage globally. Another global damage. Oh, another 50% area. Oh, beans, I gotta hydrate. This is making ya boy thirsty. All right, another 50% on every attack thus far. I gotta pop my headphones off for a second. You know, honestly, my computer doesn't sound like it's struggling too much right now, which I'm I'm a little surprised by. I feel like the graphics on this game are a little, a little more intense than some of the other roguelikes. And this should be the final boss spawn for this wave area, whatever you want to call it. Uh, they are a little spread out right now, so that's not ideal. But with the high mobility that we have, certainly something we can work around. Whoa, unless we get stuck. Okay, we are taking a fair bit of damage here. And that is largely due to the fact that I cannot see what the fuck is going on. But that should be the final boss. Done. Let's grab these crystals pop these levels, and then head deeper into the void. More cast frequency, more damage. And, yeah, more XP. Oh, we have another level up. Yeah, sure, armor power. Again, don't really know what it does, but... Onwards! Onwards, sweet beans, to the next, uh, to the next realm. Oh, <laughs> it's... It's insanity. What time is it? Oh, I got plenty of time before I gotta head out. I got uh, I got some shit I gotta go do tonight, but you know I feel uh, we got we got enough time to where I will inevitably die. Beans like this build is strong, but the math the math does not give up. And the math will 
make sure we are dead at some point here. This is for sure the furthest I've been, though, so that's really a uh, really nice little sense of accomplishment there, even though we are playing on a slightly lower difficulty than normal. That's okay. I'm having fun. I'm feeling I'm feeling good about our build and, and this run today. Definitely gonna not going to have to delete this one and, and re-record. Beans, this is an absolute slapper of a run, so I'm very, very happy to bring this to your guys' viewing plate table thing. All right, we got four bosses to kill. Oh, okay, yep, anything that hits us is going to be problematic. We are, uh, we are definitely going to be struggling in the health department here. It's not the end of the world. Well, until we die, then it is, I believe, technically the end of this world. Grab those. Where is... Oh, man, that's all the boss is dealt with. Okay. Okay, and we are back almost to half health. Holy shit. Holy shit, beans. Played sloppy for just a moment. Still, made it through relatively unscathed, almost, well, we're not dead. We're not dead, and that's what matters. Damage increase, another fire shield. I want all the orbs orbiting around our puppies and us. And more, more crystals. And the entire screen at this point is just a sea of fire and, and bloodbathery. That's the way I like to see it, Sweet Beans. That is the way I like to see it. Just shooting fireworks out of our face. Those are some Gandalf level fireworks right there. Uh, area of effect, nope, damage increase. More movement speed. It keeps giving me this. It keeps giving it to me. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna launch all kinds of explosive Gandalf fireworks at these little goblin hobbits. Everything melts. There's got to be some XP around here somewhere, not really sure where. But with all those magnetic abilities, we're picking it up pretty much where, <laughs> wherever it lands. All right. More AoE on frontal. I'm going to take the I'm going to take the 30% more damage and try and get some more uh, more attack speed or more excuse me, more movement speed. We're going to reroll that. That brings us up to 85% crit chance. Holy shit, beans. Give us movement speed, maybe. Or damage increase. Damage increase also good. And we are back to full health, and we are going to take more XP, more pickup range, deader bosses. So basically at this point, because I can't actually tell what's going on, I just need to do really, really big loops around the uh, the bosses, and uh, that should be enough to preserve us for the time being, I think. I've been wrong before, quite often as well, if I'm being honest. All right, that is... Almost all of them taken care of. What are we at? Five or four now? I can't remember. Well, we're at none right at this particular junction in time, and that's what truly matters to me. We got five levels. <laughs> it really wants me to, to just really lean into those fireworks, I guess. Area of effect, sure. More movement speed, excellent. And more damage on that thing that we are 
casting constantly. And there's the next wave of bosses. I mean, we are killing so many enemies at this point that, oh shit, that the bosses basically last until the next boss wave spawns. Which, you know, good problem to have. Nope, don't get stuck. Getting stuck is, is how you end runs, especially at this point. I can't see our cursor. There it is, I found it. Oh god, we got another, we got the other wave of bosses spawning before we even killed off those bosses. Beans, this is where it might get hairy. This is, uh, this could be problematic for sure. We're gonna have to start playing with, uh... Attack speed. Oh, no, I don't want that. Area of effect, sure. Damage increase on all area abilities. Oh god, yeah, the, this, yep, that is where it ends, Beans. That's okay, what an absolute banger of a run. And you can see there we got far past the level 10 we needed to be at. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today, Beans. This was an absolutely banger of a run. Really, really appreciate y'all taking your time, uh, taking your time out of your days and evenings to watch the content that I'm creating for y'all. Make sure that you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet, and let me know anything you want me to know in the comments. I love you, sweet toe bean, so very, very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Love you, bye. Mwah. Remember, toe beans, like, comment, subscribe, or else I'll cry myself to sleep tonight.